Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your API keys in your Android project. And uh, today we are going to use the NDK and CMake file to do that. I also have another video where you can use local properties to secure your API keys. And uh, both of these do not assure that your API keys are completely secure from hacker or reverse engineering. Your app can still be reverse engineered and your API key can be exposed. But these are some standard ways how you can make it difficult for a hacker. So if you know any better way, do let me know. I will also make a video on that. So let's get started with NDK and CMake. And if you are using that for the first time, you have to go to settings. Here you can see go to Android SDK, SDK tools. And here you have to download NDK side by side and you can download any version. By default, it will download the latest version and also download this CMake. So these are the two things that you have to download first and apply and restart. Then there is one more thing that will help you. That is a plugin. You can go to plugins and you have to download this CMake simple highlighter. You can go to marketplace and search for it. And it will help you write some CMake code. We have to define a C++ folder and that will be inside this app module. So create a new directory CPP. Press enter. It is not showing here. So let me go to project view and there you can see there is a CPP folder here. Now first we have to create a CMake list.txt file for that new and file and make sure to give the exact same name C M A lists and uh, there should be a S and dot txt file. So this will give you some symbol like this and uh, that means you are good to go with this setup. Everything is fine till now. And now here is some boilerplate code that you have to paste here. So let me explain. There is a minimum version that you have to define here. What version you have downloaded? Just yeah. you can you can you can see the version from settings Android SDK and uh, there you can see the version. You can see 3.30.5. And uh, there is the version. And uh, what is this add library? So there will be a communication between our C++ file and our Java file. And for that, there should be a bridge between them. And the CMake is the bridge. And it tells that native lib that will be available inside of our Java file. And uh, and that library is shared by this, this file. So this is the file that we have to create now. And uh, you can just name it anything. And it should just have an extension of .cpp. And you can also change the name of uh, this first file. So that is fine. Okay, now let us just create this lib native dot mm, this file. So let me go to CPP. Uh, there should be an option to add C C file, but we can just add this. It will work the same. And, and here let me just explain you with a boilerplate code. This thing are like an import in your Java file, and this is the main function that will be accessible inside of this package. So here you can see the package name is java .main activity. So and the function name is get API key. So inside of my source main java. So here from here the package name starts java demo and after that the file name is main activity and then there will, be, there will be a function that we will be exposing from this library and the function name will be get API key and uh, I can create a demo function here inside of my main activity that will be accessible as a Java function but the implementation will be this. So what is going on here? There is a variable that is app secret and app secret is from this get data function. So what is this get data function? Okay, this get data function return as a string. It has a parameter of integer and it is having an app secret variable. Initial, initially, it is null and depending on our parameter, it is defining the value and then it is returning. It is just a simple C function. If you are familiar with C, then it is easy for you to understand this. The same way you can write any C function or any complex uh, calculation and you can use it in your application, uh, Java or Kotlin file. So make sure for every function you are defining, you should define it in this manner. Your exact location with package name, file name and then the function name. And now let us use this inside of our main activity. So before using, we have to import the library that we just defined. And the library name is native lib. So let us import this. We can import with this companion object. We just have to write system.load library. That's it. And then where is this function that we just created? So this function we have to define here like this. 
you don't need this private keyword that's just optional you have to define this external keyword so this is the function that will tell us okay this is from an external native library and here you can also see the icon so there will be a compilation error if uh, there is something wrong let me show you that if i'm defining this thing then there will be no icon here and uh, this will also have a compilation error sorry runtime error but uh, you know that this will make sense uh, with the with the icon showing here and now i can access this this get api key function anywhere with the parameters and it will just return me the value that is defined here so i have added the key as suppose one so it will pass this id here and for one x equal to one this will be the secret key so that will be printed here so that's how you can access your ndk functions but this thing will not work right now because we have to also define inside of our gradle file that this is the cmake file that we are referring to and only then this uh, kotlin or java file will be able to access it so for that we have to define it here that there is an external native library and it is cmake we have to define the path here so path will be okay so this will be respective to our app folder so inside of our app where it is inside of cpp folder so inside of cpp folder there is a file name cmake list.txt that is the that is the file and you can also define the version here my version is my version is 3.30.5 let me sync it and uh, let me do one thing let me log okay ndk not configured means we have to also add ndk version here so inside of this android block we have to define the ndk version and also this cmake and now it should work and uh, we can log and the value okay, why it is showing error okay hmm. it's saying cannot resolve corresponding function and it is defining the function name and uh, we are having the exact same name by the way maybe it is uh, just some gradle issues uh, and android studio issues okay now the error is gone so it was just a uh, id issues everything is set now and if i run the application I should see something in log tag and here you can see id is 1 to 9 so that means here you can see it is working fine because the parameter was 1 so everything is good and uh, now you have accessed your c++ program inside of your java kotlin file so that is it for today if you enjoyed this video if you learned something new then make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching